nothing says summer quite like a juicy red strawberry. I bought my strawberry plant from the nursery. Uh, you can start it from seed and I do have another video where I'll talk about how to harvest those seeds, but I'm still in the middle of that experiment and uh, more to come. Strawberry plants are very giving plants. Um, I was able to get two additional plants out of my first plant and I probably could have gotten more, but you have to be careful when you are using these runners, that's what they're called, um, these sort of long stems that basically originate from the mother plant and basically create this tiny little baby plant. Um, if you allow that to continue, it can impact the strawberry crop that you get for the year because the mother plant is so busy putting out runners or stolons, I believe the technical term is, uh, eventually um, the fruit that she produces on her main plant starts to get impacted. Strawberry plants require full sun. Um, there are two different types, the ever-bearing and the June-bearing. I actually got an ever-bearing, so that means that this plant basically produced strawberries throughout the season. June-bearing strawberries will only produce one harvest through the season, and typically that's in June or July. So let's talk runners. As I said, I was able to get two additional plants from the mother plant because she's always sending out these runners. What you need to do is to wait for the runners to get roots. And you can see these tiny little nodules at the end of the stolen or runner, and then you will be able to plant it. So I basically took the runner, um, put it into a bed of soil, used a paper clip, which I had sort of bent um, to form almost a horseshoe shape to ensure that the roots made contact with the soil. And I let it stay attached to the mother plant for about a week, um, just keeping an eye on the baby plant. You can see it had already started to develop its own runners. Um, and that's when I knew that it was thriving and it was ready to be detached from the mother plant. When removing the stolen or runner from the mother plant, make sure you cut as close to the crown or the root as you can. So you can see I just took um, my garden scissors, um, took the runner, and again on both sides basically cut it as close to the crown as I could. And then just check on the baby plants, uh, make sure they continue to thrive, um, provide fertilizer and ensure watering and sunlight because basically once you cut that runner, all nutrition has gone from the mother plant and it's basically got to survive on its own. So in dealing with strawberries, I had to deal with pests. The good thing with container gardening, I didn't necessarily have to worry about slugs or um, soil pests, but it was the climbing variety. That is squirrels and chipmunks. So every time my strawberry would ripen to that perfect red color, a little critter would come and take a little bite out of it. And he would just take a bite and leave the rest. So it was adding insult to injury. I tried everything. Uh, cayenne pepper, uh, all kinds of ways to prevent this little critter from getting to my strawberries. Eventually, I resorted to just putting a net over the strawberry plant. At, um, at those times when it was starting to ripen, it didn't seem that the squirrel was interested in the strawberries when they were green. He was literally waiting for it to ripen and then would swoop in. So just before my strawberries were starting to turn that nice red color, I would start to put the netting on and that obviously helped. Um, Cayenne pepper can work, but I found what would happen is that the cayenne pepper would end up actually causing the fruit to ripen even faster, I think because it actually um, burns it a little bit in the sun. And so um, although the critter or squirrel didn't like the taste of the cayenne, he's got to get close enough to it and sometimes he will still take a bite. So I think the best thing is a shield or some kind of netting to prevent the squirrels from getting at your strawberries. 
Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more tips and fun videos and enjoy gardening.